Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the lineup for Spain. Dani Olmo plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And the contest begins... Cristiano Ronaldo and Portugal showing good wits. Well, let's see about the cross and the danger still on. Felix using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Asensio. Really good high press. Just made sure nothing came of that. And the keeper more than equal to it. Now well, they fancy a short one. Asensio. Can he put them in front? Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren oh, spell. Can he finish it here? And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Good looking sequence. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. He plays it short. Got 
corner, kick played in. Able to deal with the threat. And options in the centre. The supporters want to see him have a go. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. But he's gone short with it. Asensio. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Pedri. Danny Olmo. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Can they put it away? And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So back on the way. One goal apiece here. Pepe. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes has it. Not high quality defending. Marco Asensio. Gabi. He continues his run. Juventus. It needs an accurate cross. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Safe pair of hands, did his job. And that'll be a Spain throw-in. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Well, the supporters think it's on. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Ronaldo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Torres. Can he put it in? Reading it well. Just not looking confident in possession. It has to be! Well, we like to call things as we see them, Stuart, and I must say he's got that one horribly wrong. Well, it's a poor decision in the end. It's way off target. Silva. Pepe. Bruno Fernandes has it. Dallo. Will he finish? And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Cristiano Ronaldo. Sergio Busquets. Pedri. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And thwarted there following the cross. Played over. Bodies forward and the break looks on. 
What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. This looks promising. Towards Bernardo Silva. But into the keeper's gloves. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, it was a magical first-half performance from Cristiano Ronaldo. No doubt about that, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Underway once more, it's advantage Portugal after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. And teammates around him. Bruno Fernandes. Now with Silva. Determined defending. Ferran Torres. And return to Marco Asensio. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. A really intense pressure applied. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. This could square the game. Oh, but no! Heroism flashed in front of his eyes. Couldn't take the chance. Well, I think that's a poor miss. They really should be level now. Will they come to regret that? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. How are they losing this one? They've done really well in terms of their approach play, yet their finishing just hasn't been good enough. Just look at those stats. He has teammates around him. Joao Felix. Dallo. And back with Bernardo Silva. And he stopped them in their tracks. And into the last 30 minutes now. Can they do something positive? on the counter-attack Jordi Alba corner kick forthcoming and a substitution in the offing And deciding to go short with this one. Could be threatening. Real chance. Well, it might still work out for them. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Well, attacks are plenty, but now defensive resilience is what's called for. He's lost it. Pablo Sarabia. Guerrero. The ball with Octavio. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes has it. Felix. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Marcos Llorente. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Jordi Alba. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And just slightly offside. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench.
Poor pass. Sarabia. Chance, maybe. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, I thought that was a certain goal. If they do hold on to this lead, the keeper will be getting all the adulation. Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Oh, incredible save. And he stuffed out the danger. Danny Olmo. And still pressing for a goal here. Shot attempted. And he got to it fairly easily. Bruno Fernandes. Well, they have it again. And he keeps going. Really a very poor ball. Sarabia. It's still there for him. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Substitution time it is here. And the final whistle here, a real sense of feel-good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserved their victory. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.